we are going to see about the stoichiometric uh, stoichiometric means uh, it gives on a numeric relationship between uh, quantities uh, amount of the substance uh, amount of the substance in the balanced equation is called an uh, stoichiometric stoichiometric is nothing but it gives on a numerical relationship uh, between uh, uh, two different quantities in a balanced chemical equation so it's called an uh, stoichiometric for example i give an example that is uh, here carbon react with an adjacent to form an a carbon dioxide here one mole of carbon react with an a one mole of oxygen to form an a one mole of carbon dioxide that is a uh, numerically one mole of carbon which is equal to an a one mole of an adjacent so, one mole of carbon that is one mole of amount of carbon is equal to one mole of an amount of adjacents. Adjacents that um, ratio also which is uh, given by a which is named as a stoichiometric. The symbols in stoichiometric we are using that uh, triple bond like symbols. Symbols are stoichiometric. It's nothing but it gives a numerical relationship between the two quantities. Between the two quantities in balanced chemical equations. Balanced chemical equations only we are easily calculate the stoichiometric proportions. The stoichiometric proportions is also gives a relationship between a reactant as well as in a product. This uh, formulas are very important to do the sums in neat exams. Uh, sometimes uh, they are giving in a mass and ask the uh, moles uh, how many moles are present here at the time the mass is divided by in a molar mass it gives in a number of moles react in a particular molecules uh, that is number of moles are calculated from the formula mass divided by molar mass just equal to number of moles uh, in some of the cases uh, they are giving in a gaseous substance at the times uh, at the times uh, we are uh, Calculating in a, the volume occupied by the one mole. Uh, that time we are using that formula mass divided by molecular mass and which is multiplied by 22.4 liters. Uh, and that way we can calculate the volume occupied by a gaseous molecules. In the gaseous molecules we are using in a 22.4 liters. Uh, but in the case of Sometimes they are asking a number of atoms, identify the number of atoms present in the molecules. At the time, uh, we are doing mass divided by molar mass into Avocatra number, which gives a number of an atom formed in a particular molecules. This, this relationship gives a number of an atom formed in a particular molecule. Particular molecule. If the molecule is gaseous molecule, instead of Avocatra number, we are multiplied by 22.4 liters. It is an a main thing. We do the uh, so much of calculations. Then I remember the mass is divided by the molar mass, which gives a number of moles. At the same time, the number of moles moles are converted into atom by multiplying Avocatra numbers. The number of moles are converted into a number of an atoms or molecules or ions. Ions. Uh, if the number of moles are multiplied by 22.4 liters, we can get the volume occupied by one mole of gas at standard temperature pressure. These are a very important relationship. Now, we know that stoichiometry gives a um, same, same or uh, numerical relationship. Uh, numerical relationship between uh, two quantities uh, in a balanced chemical equations. Balanced chemical equation. Now, we consider this equation. So, uh, comparison of methane. Here, one mole of methane interact with two moles of adjacents, which gives a one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water molecules. Uh, on the basis of these equations, uh, they are uh, giving a uh, much of information to us. Here, it is in a balanced equation. So, stoichiometric coefficient. Stoichiometric coefficient nothing but the before the reactant. In front of the reactant, we can get in a number 1, 2, 3. These are all stoichiometric coefficient. Here, the stoichiometric coefficient is uh, methane is 1, then hydrogen is 2, carbon dioxide is 1, then water molecule is 2. It's in a stoichiometric coefficient. Mole mole relationship uh, that is. Uh, uh, we are studying uh, we are uh, writing a stoichiometric coefficient a uh, mole mole relationship uh, we know that uh, stoichiometry gives a uh, 
numerical relationship between the two quantities in quantities is referred in terms of moles we know that quantities is referred in terms of moles so here mole mole relationship reactant is in a one mole one mole and uh, adjacent here methane is in a one mole adjacent is in a two moles carbon dioxide is in a one mole and then mm, water molecule is in a two moles because now a uh, mole is used to represent the quantity amount of the substance or quantity of the substance mass mass relationship formula is number of moles into molar mass number of moles so here number of moles is 1 Mo molecular mass of a methane is 16 16 totally the mass mass relationship of a methane is 16 grams then adjacent number of moles is 2 and the molecular mass of adjacent is 32 grams 32 grams and then we can get an a 64 grams mass mass of adhesion is 64 grams then here carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is in a one mole then into uh, atomic mass of uh, carbon dioxide is 44 grams we can get an a mass mass relationship 44 grams here then uh, two moles of uh, water is present uh, molecular mass of water is 18 we can get an uh, 36 grams of water then mass of the reactant uh, mass of the reactant we know that uh, 60 grams of methane are present here then two moles of uh, two moles are um, 64 grams of adjacent is present here in terms of carbon dioxide it is in a gas state uh, which is present in a gas state so we can use in a molar volume here so one mole is equal to the molar volume uh, one mole of gas is occupied uh, by the space is 22.4 liter 4 liter then uh, here two moles we are taking in a, in a two moles in water so here the gas occupied by the space is 44.8 liter so molar volume of water is 44.8 liter because of two moles molar volume of carbon dioxide is um, 1 mole so 22.4 liters volume volume relationship volume volume relationship means all are converted into an um, gaseous atoms uh, which is occupied by a space now 1 grams now 1 mole of 1 mole of methane occupied by the spaces because of 1 mole which is occupied by the spaces 22.4 liter here they are giving an a standard temperature pressure 273 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure so uh, one mole is equal to 22.4 liter here two mole is equal to 2 into 22.4 liter equal to 44.8 liter then carbon dioxide is in a one mole one mole is equal to 22.4 liter water is in a two moles two moles is equal to 2 into 22.4 liter from this uh, from this uh, tablet column we know that mass is nothing but a number of moles number of moles is multiplied by molecular mass molecular mass at the same time the volume occupied by volume occupied by one mole of gas is 22.4 liter at standard temperature pressure this two information getting from this tablet column now we do some of the calculations some of the calculations these are all asking from a neat exams first calculation how many moles of hydrogen required to produce a 10 moles of an ammonia uh, first we have to write a balanced equation for the formation of ammonia nitrogen and hydrogen interact with the formation of ammonia here the equation is not balanced so, so equation should be balanced two nitrogens two nitrogens then six uh, six atoms of hydrogen is that so i put an a three in front of hydrogens now the equation is balanced uh, they are asking now now we are going to a question how many moles of hydrogen is required to produce an a 10 moles of an ammonia first hydrogen ammonia i split it that is 2 moles of an ammonia, 2 moles of an ammonia produced 3 moles of an hydrogen. 2 moles of an ammonia produced 3 moles of an hydrogen. They are asking a 10 moles of an ammonia. 10 moles of an ammonia required to how many moles of hydrogens? Okay, that is that quantity is 2 moles of an ammonia is required to 3 moles of hydrogens. 10 moles of an ammonia is required to larger number of hydrogen. We know this quantity is excess. 
that is high excess or high that the time we are putting a highest number upper is divided by highest number is divided by the lowest number into 3 so 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 so 15 15 moles that is 15 moles of hydrogen is needed needed for 10 grams of ammonia 10 moles of an ammonia it is the simplest way we do this calculation so you don't worry about like this formulas or anything listen that is and they are asking how many moles of hydrogen is required to produce uh, 10 moles of an ammonia here uh, that is you should like you should write in a balanced equation of ammonia then hydrogen you are splitting in a hydrogen and ammonia they are asking about uh, hydrogen as well as an ammonia i put in a hydrogen and ammonia two moles of ammonia is needed need uh, three moles of hydrogens they are asking 10 moles of ammonia is how much amount of hydrogen is required for 10 moles of an ammonia uh, so the ammonia moles of an ammonia is excess the hydrogen value is also high so answer should be in a high high uh, so if the answer is in a high means i putting in a higher quantity uh, uppercase higher quantity is divided by the lower quantity into 3 answer is in a 15 15 moles of an ammonia now they are always giving an answer 15 moles of an ammonia next sum we have to do the next sum calculate Calculate the amount of water produced by the comparison of 32 grams of methane. Methane, we have to compose the methane. It will produce in a carbon dioxide plus water because methane is in a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon, if this equation is... Uh, if this equation is balanced, it's not balanced. So, we have to balance the equation here. Um, here, hydrogen is 4. Here, hydrogen is 2. So, we are putting 2. Now the hydrogen should be in a 2 tools are 4. So I put a 2 here. Then carbon. One carbon is there. One carbon is there. 4 hydrogen. Here is also a 4 hydrogen is there. 4 hydrogen. 4 hydrogen is there. Now this equation is balanced. Balanced. Now here. Now here they talk about the grams. So grams and the methane. Molecular mass of methane is. There is a 12 hydrogen should be in a 4. 16. 16 grams of uh, hydrogen methane methane produce in a produce in a 2 into molecular mass of water is in a 18 18 into 2 36 16 grams of methane produces 36 grams of water 60 grams of methane produce in a 36 grams of water the question is amount of water produced by the composition of 32 grams of methane 32 grams of methane undergo the composition how many water molecules produced they are asking 60 grams producing 36 gram 32 grams producing surely the higher amount of water so high if the value is high we are putting highest value is divided by it's in a highest value is divided by lowest value into 36 or eights are 8 4 eights are 32 then 18 into 4 72 72 grams 72 grams of water water is produced here uh, we have check out the answer. The answer is 72 grams of water. Here we are getting in a 72 grams of water. We are simply do this calculation. Through this calculation, we are easily identified the moles, grams, etc. etc. Then I am going to talk about another question. How much volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 50 grams of calcium carbonate is needed? Okay, they are asking you know, how much volumes of carbon dioxide volume now the volume is involved so uh, we are using an 22.4 here they are taking a calcium carbonate calcium carbonate 
decomposed to given a calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Listen, is this balanced equation? Yes, is this is a balanced equation here. Calcium is 1, calcium is 1, carbon is also 1, hydrogen is 3, here hydrogen is 3. So this, this equation is balanced 1. Uh, now, calcium carbonate, the molecular mass of calcium carbonate is, uh, calcium is, calcium is 40 plus carbon is 12, hydrogen is, uh, uh, 3 more 1 hydrogen, uh, 1 hydrogen equal to 60, then 3 hydrogen is there, 48. The molecular mass of calcium carbonate is 100. 100 grams produced, they are asking about carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate. So, 100 grams of calcium carbonate produce molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 12 plus 30. 6 32 12 plus axon axon 8 and 16 2 axisons 32 32 44 grams totally then 100 grams of calcium carbonate produce and 44 grams of carbon dioxide 44 grams of carbon dioxide and now in this case carbon dioxide is an a gas uh, carbon dioxide is an a gas so 44 grams is equal to 22.7 liter because they are giving in a completely under standard conditions. Completely under standard conditions mean.